Hi guys, this is Jackie from TechJackie.com and welcome to another video on SEO. In today's video, I'll teach you how to add a local schema markup to your local business website. Now, if you don't know what is a schema markup, it's essentially a snippet of code where you put on your local website to help the search engines or Google understand the context of your website better. Sure, Google and search engines look at your website and go through your text, right? And go through different kind of stuff in order to understand what your website is all about. But at the fundamental level, search engines are still algorithm, right? And algorithms need some code in order to understand the, the thing much better, right? And in this case, we use what we call as a schema markup or structured data in order to convey what our website is about at the fundamental or at the code level, right? So uh, in this, particular video, I'll teach you how to um, add your schema markup to a WordPress website. If you're running a local uh, website, you know, using WordPress, then you can follow along. But if you're not using WordPress, then you can um, follow along as well. But you make you but you can do the step right in much simpler way. Because uh, with WordPress, it involves you know, more number of steps. Without further ado, let me show you how to do it. All right. So this is my website. I'm using the demo website here in this case, right? And this is the back end of my WordPress, right? So um, if you're using um, WordPress, the chances is that, you know, you must be using Yoast SEO, right? Or any other SEO plugins, which is well and good because this helps uh, improve your SEO optimization, right? Of your website better. But what comes with your... Um, Yoast SEO or any kind of other SEO plugins is they also have what normally be, you know we call as organization schema markups. Now there are different type of schema markup or structured data, right? Like for example, recipes, star reviews, right? Um, local business schema markup, organization uh, markup, all these kind of stuff. Well, by having different kind of schema markup, it essentially you know confuses the search engines as to what is your website basically all about, right? So if you're using Yoast or if you're using WordPress in general, first we need to eliminate those extra or unnecessary um, structured data, you know, in order for us to add, you know, the local business schema to, you know, let the search engines know that our website is only about local business, right? So first you need to make sure that, you know, you have those kind of unnecessary schema present. So go ahead and, you know, copy your URL, right? Like in this case, and copy mine here and go to the tool called Google Structured Data Testing Tool, which I leave the link in the description and, you know, go ahead and paste in your URL and click run the test, right? And as you can see here, um, we've got a bunch of, you know, structured data, right? This tool will essentially, you know, um, go and you know, find all different kind of structured data present on your website like in this case you know i've got web page organization right and other kind of structured data which comes along with the wordpress website uh, other type of schemas here in this case is pretty okay right like you can have them present but organization is the thing that we really need to get rid of right because you know you can't be a lot look you can also be local business and organization at the same time but you know, generally, you know, you would just want to be local business, right? And not organization here. So this is what we want to remove or take out. Uh, so first go ahead and, you know, um, install a plugin called um, remove schema, which essentially will help remove the unnecessary schema data, right? So go ahead and type in remove schema, right? And, uh, the first plugin should be it, right? So this one is the plugin and go ahead and install it and, you know, activate the plugin here, right? And go to the plugin settings, right? Um, go ahead and go here and, you know, um, go to the section where it says aggressive schema removal and click on remove all micro data, right? You can click it here and click on save all changes, right? And next, you would need to make sure that, you know, all the unnecessary structured data or schema markup are removed. So go ahead and, you know, and do the test again, right? Run the test. Uh, 
and as you can see here right other type of schema are, are removed except the web page right this actually comes with Yoast SEO but this is but this should not be a problem right because our main goal is to remove only the organization schema markup so we can leave this as as it is right now once you have removed all the unnecessary schema or structured data you can uh, you know go ahead and um, install your local schema or local structured data right now before you do that you need to install one of the plugin called you know hcfm right which i'll show you here because you see um you would not want to have your schema present in on each and every page of your website right because um uh, you know like google also has clearly stated that you know by having your schema you should have it just present on only one page right which will help search engine understand better because you don't want to you know it to repeat on every page right which essentially will not look um, too effective right so our goal is to actually have schema present only on the home page right now if you just go ahead and, and you know put in your schema code to your wordpress um, theme file right if you go ahead and, and modify it it will essentially um, have your local schema present on each and every, every page of your website which doesn't look you know good right instead you need an extra plugin in order to specify only which page as to where to put the schema right so there's a plugin called scfm right go ahead and search for it or header footer code manager right so go ahead and install it activate the plugin right and uh, this i'll just show you in a minute right this is the the plugin interface and you know go ahead and add new snippet here right so you can name the snippet as you know anything so you know local schema right and display right where you want this uh, code to be displayed and by default is you know selected as side wide or on every page on your website so go ahead and you know select the specific page right because we want only it to be present on home page you know go ahead and select home here right and and you know location is header once we've done that right we don't have the code yet which i'll show you in a second how to get the code go ahead and save it first right so we just want to create um, a snippet here first so once you've done that right go ahead and go to the tool called technical seo.com for slash tools for slash schema markup generator which will help generate a schema markup for your website in you know less than five minutes right because schema as i said is a snippet of codes and you essentially need some coding skill in order to do that but this tool will help generate you know code for you in less than five minutes first you know select the type of schema that you would need that you need right like in this case you know we want the local business right and uh, digging down further local business can also be divided into different types right as you can see here it depends on your industry right whether you know a financial service right child care or you know if you're running a service then it would be professional service something like that in this case for just for the sake of example i'm just going to select local business right like if you can't find your business category just select local business and the name of your business right like let me just type in test here right image url or you know the the logo right the url of your web business logo so let me go ahead and you know um, fetch it find it from my website right so let me go ahead and you know scroll down right to the logo section let me just take this one right copy the url and uh, paste it there right and the url of my website right this is the url here so i'm just gonna you know enter it like this phone number right so i'm just going to enter it randomly and the price range or you know how much you offer for your service or you know your business if you don't have any fixed price then you can just leave it like that right country let me just select you know randomly as well in this case you know united states right even the province or the state here so go ahead and you know the latitude or longitude right like your um business coordination coordinate which you can you know get from your google maps right you can even add your opening hours here as well as you can see or you know open 24 hours if you just leave it right so um that's all for this example right and go ahead and you know copy it once you're done right and go to the snippets where we create created earlier and you know go ahead and paste it right and click on update 
And there you go, you've got your schema um, markup on your website. And just to test whether you have it present or not, right, go ahead and go to the same tool again and click on new test, run the test, right? To check if the schema is full is properly installed. As you can see here, it's installed now. We've got local business schema present, but there's a warning here, right? So let's go ahead and open the warning. As you can see, right, it you know is asking you for the price range. Um, it's just a warning, right? Because it's not essentially an error. Because you know, if you don't have price range, then you can just leave it like that, and warning shouldn't be an issue at all, right? But Suppose if you run into, let's say, any errors, then you would need to invest, investigate further as to see, you know, what's the error, right? I'll leave the link in the description to the official schema markup documentation so you can have a look and let's see, you know, um, what type of schema is basically um, required, right? Because if you miss, let's say, a name property here, right, then you may run into an error in this case because, you know, it, it is a required property. Uh, but in this case, price range is essentially not an, is an uh, optional property, right? So it's just showing you as a warning because, you know, it's not important here. But having a warning shouldn't be an issue at all. It's basically everything is all done now, right? And that's all for the, for the process, right? Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible, right? And that's all for the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.